Doing numbers like equations Trench talk When you jump up off the porch as a youngin' And start posting on the block with the junkies And get it bounced You can talk about me all the fuck you want I don't give a fuck I got mine, goddammit You better hustle and get yours What's good, what's good, what's good? Ladies and gentlemen, back with your boy being there. Charlie Charlie's Vision YouTube channel, man. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button for me, G. Today, I wanted to talk about this, man. You know what I'm saying? Fake pages, fake people, fake relationships. You know what I'm saying? And people backstabbing you and doing crazy things to bring you down. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, man, Um, I always looked at myself as nothing, man. I ain't nobody, bro. I ain't, I ain't no special. I ain't no different from nobody else, right? You know what I mean? I walk in my glory and I walk in my, my high spirited energy as far as myself. But I don't feel like I'm better than nobody. I don't feel like a nigga that sit down and like, if you doing whole shit, I'm going to talk down about you. But if you, or, or, let's say you struggling with some money or something like that, or you homeless or something like that, you going through some, I don't talk down on you because I understand you're you going through a struggle and you're trying to get out of it. Whole shit, I'm going to talk down on that shit because I don't, I don't like hoes and women that treat their stay lifestyle they, they do that crazy nasty disgusting lifestyle and have daughters and shit and and fucking sons they look at that fucked up ass shit and gotta live through it i don't like that i'm gonna talk down on you every time but not to get too far into that like fake friends fake pages and people doing a little un behind the back stabbing you in the back type of thing i've been like i said i've been saying a lot of that shit lately man and me personally bro like i always feel like this man me and my man dre we talk all the time right like a stand-up guy, but I feel like a lot of times in life when you bring people in your circle, they don't identify who you really are as a person. Everything's a joke, everything's a game. And it's like me, man, I'm 30 plus years old. I don't play children games. I don't make fake pages. I don't do no stalking on nobody's shit. Don't be doing that shit to me. Don't write me through no fake ass pages and all this fake riddle shit niggas be on, man. I feel like niggas is clowns, man. It's great like that. I feel like niggas is clowns, man. I think niggas, a lot of niggas need to go to the mental hospital, man. Check their motherfucking stuff in that bitch, man. Because the niggas be crazy, man. Then the people that start drama with a person. I'm quiet most of the time. I'm laid back. I'm out the way. You starting drama with a nigga that ain't got done shit to do with shit, man. I remember one time, like, I get put into a situation. I have no clue what niggas talking about. And niggas asking me random questions about some shit. I have no clue what the fuck these niggas talking about. But yet, Charlie name get put in it about some shit. I had no idea what the fuck they was talking about. So I'm just sitting there like, it's just crazy, man, because I really miss my core people, my day one people, because shit like this never happened around day one people. It only happened around strangers, man. <laughs> you know, people that think that they can play those roles of being a fucking misleading a dickhead motherfucker, man. You know what I'm saying? This dickhead people that do stupid ass shit and they call themselves adults with children and kids. Me, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. This is why I don't talk to niggas. This is why I stay away from niggas. Because it's like, if I'm coming to you with a pure heart and a pure soul, and you coming to me with darkness, my only retaliation is to cut you off. Because I don't understand why you're doing it. You ain't explaining to me why you're doing this shit. And then when you do explain it, I'm going to still say, fuck you. Your apologies don't mean shit to me. And none of that shit. I'm still going to be on fuck you energy. I'm a tourist, man. Like, you can't play games with me. I'm going to look at you as a scumbag motherfucker. And that's what I've been saying a lot of times, man. A lot of snake ass shit. Weirdo shit. You know what I'm saying? I'd be like, what the hell? I don't even understand some of the shit I be saying, bro. When people just doing this weird shit. I'm like, I'm a stand-up nigga, for sure. Like, I come from Tyler the Pop, nigga. That's what I always been, a stand-up guy. You know what I'm saying? So, when I see this weird old shit that these niggas be doing, I only be trying to figure out where is it coming from. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, there's a lot of people that try to backstab you, talk behind your back, and do a little lot of lame shit. And like I said before, man, I like sometimes I just sit back and I just allow the ancestor to speak to me to, to make me aware of my surroundings and my enemies that's trying to pull this negativity into me, man. I say, man, like I don't, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, how could I say this? Um, 
the last couple of the, that uh what is it, like the last year and, and things like that I, I started to realize man no matter how much you love a person no matter how much you care about a person if they don't look at you in the same way they will hurt you they will disappoint you they will do you wrong and my reaction from that is fuck you like that's how i feel i'm not with all this taking niggas apologies and forgiving niggas to do the same shit all over again I'm not in the business of that shit. It's just fuck you. And that's what I see a lot, man. I feel like people play with your kindness and take it for a weakness, man. And that's what I be saying a lot of the time. Motherfucker come out, oh, man, I'm sorry. I ain't, did I say that shit? Yes, bitch, you said that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like all this corny ass shit niggas be doing, man. I never understand that corny shit niggas be doing, bro. I'm like, I'm not that hard to find, nigga. Hit my line, talk to me, stop all that corny shit. Like, if you got a problem, like I said, a nigga post some shit, right? You know what I mean? This nut, this nut ass nigga posted some shit, right? Sending shots. I said, like, nigga, put a name on it, nigga. I like, put a name on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's the type of nigga I am. Put a name on that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? If you feel some type of way about this and that, put a name on it, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like I said, I'm not from um, y'all's pocket shit like that, but I said the nigga talking crazy. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't like that shit. I'm just like, why niggas say all this crazy shit? Like, if you got a problem with me, we can talk as man or whatever. I'm always going to take the man approach. Just call me, hit me on my line, be like, bro, I ain't like this and that, bro. And this is why I did this and that. I'm like, all right, bro, I understand that. We ain't got to agree on everything. But keep it G. Keep it G, gang. Like, just keep that shit deep. Like, cuz, like, I just look at it from that perspective. Just keep it G. Stop all that gay shit y'all niggas doing, man. Like a lot of niggas be doing a lot of gay shit, widow shit, man. Like, I was like, why? I'm not nobody special, bro. I'm the same nigga like everybody else. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? So I'm just seeing all this widow shit, niggas making fake pages and all this goofy ass shit these niggas be doing, bro. Stalking and shit. Like, I'm like, bro, what the fuck, nigga? I ain't no celebrity, nigga. I'm in the trenches like everybody else, nigga. I work a job like everybody else, nigga. What are you stalking for, man? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What the fuck is wrong with niggas, man? Like, these niggas crazy, man. I'm like, individual just stalking and shit. Like, I'm like, what What the fuck is wrong with you, man? Like, I really do believe you was in a mental hospital. I really, really believe you a fucking retard, man. And it ain't no love in my heart no more, man. It's fuck you to the day. So forever. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, I ain't gonna never forgive you. Like, <laughs> it's my personality. It's like, fuck you for life. Like, that's just how I am, bro. Like, I don't play that shit. You don't never play with me. I'm not gonna never forgive you. You know what I'm saying? God forgive, not me. I don't forgive you. You will always be a scumbag to me, man. That's how I feel. I feel like you a fucking scumbag. I said, all this playing around shit, grown people playing around, man. So I respect my sister, man. One of my sisters, man. I never said nobody names and shit, but she was always direct. And I loved that about her. She was direct. She went on like, all that playing game shit, all these making fake pages shit. She was direct. And she was right. <laughs> and I respect her. This other motherfucking weirdo motherfucker, I don't respect you. You's a clown to me. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I feel about motherfuckers. You straight clown. The other nigga that was talking crazy, he a clown too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like all this clown shit niggas be on, man. Just hit my line and talk to me as a man or a woman. But now I don't want to talk to niggas, bro. I just don't. I don't got the energy for to be talking to niggas, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just like, when you do fuck shit, I just be like, why, bro? Like, what? Just hit my line, nigga. Hit my line, talk to me, bro. But these motherfuckers doing fuck shit and I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, man, I respect my day ones, man, because they the only niggas that I know these niggas ain't perfect, but they the only ones I see that have pure heart. You know what I mean? Like Dre got a pure heart. He ain't perfect, but he got a pure heart. You know what I'm saying? But these motherfuckers that, that's coming along now, they don't come with good intentions. <laughs> these motherfuckers be straight snakes, man. You know what I'm saying? Straight up snakes, man. And that's all I see from these niggas. Family member, even motherfucking family. I'm like, damn, bro. I give my... I'm not even gonna go that far. I'm gonna just say, nigga, I die for these motherfuckers, man. That's how I felt. I used to feel that way. I took a bullet for you. I, before I let you get hurt, I jump in front of that shit. Right? 
I'll protect you to the end. But when you cross me, man, I could never look at you the same. Then you apologize just to do the same shit all over again. I don't forgive these type of individuals or people, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, I had an experience, right, where I gave this person. Okay, my homegirl was telling me. See, this is why I say I don't listen to my homegirls that's coming with pure hearts and pure soul. She was like, Charlie, when a person show you signs, what she says, I can't remember. I'm trying to quote it how she said it, but she, when, when a person show you signs, what she say, don't ignore it. Or some, some way she broke it down, like don't ignore the signs. So I see this individual and I see the red flags of this fucked up individual and how they carry shit, but I let shit pass. And I say, man, I'm gonna give them a pass because you know, every human got their own ways and things of that nature. But my sis would come to me and be like, no, Charlie, when they show them fucking red signs, nigga, stop it, bro. Stop all this trying to be a nice guy shit. Stop all this trying to look past shit. And sis said some real, that shit was pure from the I love my sis, but she said some real shit. And I ignored what she was saying because I felt like, just give people a chance. And then I feel like niggas spit in my face when I do that shit. And they do some real fuck ass shit. And piss me the fuck off when they do that goofy ass shit. Right? You a clown when you do that shit. But I I, I went away from what sis was saying. But that's why I said, I got a lot of good women that's in my life that talk to me. And, they, and I respect them to the highest power. Because there was people that keep me strong. I got, I got a lot of good fellas, my good homies that keep me strong. But like I say, my biggest issue, I just, all I say, I try to stay, I got to stay away from people. I don't, I say, I don't be wanting to have conversations with niggas no more. <laughs> I don't want to talk to niggas. I don't want to have no conversation. If you ain't day one of one of my family members, nigga, close blood niggas, I try to stay away from niggas, dog. Because these niggas is wicked as a motherfucker, bro. Y'all fucking making fake pages and all this weirdo shit. I'm like, y'all niggas is weirdos, man. Y'all niggas is straight weirdos out here, bro. Like, these niggas is weirdos, man. Like, straight up, G. I'm out, though, man. A will to win a healthy life. All natural products. Come join the new movement, guys. We got products in different categories, such as sports, weight loss, beauty, and also household products that's all made all natural. Click the link in the description. Hey, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit that like button. And when you hit that notification bell, it will always let you know every time that I upload new content.